Welcome Aquarius to Petrola's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of March 15th to the 31st of 2023. As I was getting into the Aquarian energy, I really felt as if uh, two different things. One, you're feeling it's time to get holy. So whatever that is, cleaning up your life physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or all three, financially, let's throw that in there. I feel that you're going to try to raise your personal vibration, uh, eating well, etc., also, I feel as if this is a time that uh, I just saw like a tower moment in love, romance, and relationship. However, I feel for many of you, this is the change that you wanted. So this is a blessing, something that you've uh, been seeking out. Um, and you're going to leave with more than what you stepped in with. So if this is a situation of business partners or a family business or whatever this is, this could even be a marital situation, a partnership of some kind where the Aquarian had stepped in and now they really want to step out and they're being asked to. So therefore they won't even feel the pain of that. It's almost like a will of fortune type of thing. And, um, and when you do step out, you're going to step out with way more than you stepped in with. And I got to tell you, you're going to also feel triumphant and with more courage. I feel that the Aquarians are going to have more courage and more, uh, what do I want to say, that charisma or uh, the moving forward. Now, career and finance, I feel with the Aquarius, many of you are going to be rewarded for what you're doing. So if you're just stepping out, because there's different stages of life, I get it. This will not apply to all the Aquarians, but it does to many of you. I appreciate the private reads and uh, the donations to my channel. Thank you. Um, but back to the Aquarians. Many of you are in different stages. So some of you are actually just stepping out of a certification or a college or and you're stepping into a career. Other of you are already in your career and you're stepping up and over and you're going to be recognized for your work. Others of you, you're planning a retirement <laughs> or a semi-retirement. It's going to go better than you anticipated. Uh, whew. see what's going on. Let's pull some cards here for Aquarius. For those of you, I'm trying to help my channel to grow. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a nice comment below. Ooh. Aquarius. A successful self-employment came flying out of the deck. I was going to start with love, romance, and a relationship. So, however, maybe some of you, your love, romance, and relationship had gained, had, had a personal or a financial gain for you. But, uh, Stop worrying. You're expecting the worst. What you think about, you bring about Aquarius. You know that. So the sleepness, sleepness nights, you have to let it go. Some of you need to pull away and you need to pray and be in more in meditation. Prayer and meditation is the way during this particular time. Your body, whether it's good stress or, or negative stress. I mean, you could win a lot of money or just like your situation right now. It's kind of, you wanted this person to exit your life or you wanted to exit this person's life and they ask you to leave. Oh my God, <laughs> how much better can it get than that? And uh, I th feel that many of you are going to be out of a situation and you're going to be happy about it. But now it's time to stay alone. It's a stay alone, time to get holy, Think about what you want. If I said to you, what would you uh, desire five years ago? The list has changed. You're not the same person that you were 10 years ago, five years ago, for some of you, three years ago. So redefine who you would like in your life and the kind of life you would like to live. 
when uh, we all are going to cross over at some point. So when you cross over, what do you want uh, people or your loved ones to think about you? What's your personal legacy that you're going to leave? Think about that now because... If it's, you know, if you're living a life that you're not proud of or you want to live a better life, you're proud of the life that you're living now, but you want to live a better life, Aquarius, uh, now's the time to do it. Love, romance, relationship, Aquarius, March 15th to the 31st of 2023. What does the divine have in store for thee? Love, there we go. Career finance, career finance, March 15th of the 31st, Aquarius. There we go. Two cards. Love, romance, and relationship. Oh, this is amazing. Contented, rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. So you're getting what you want, Aquarius. You're getting what you want. And some of you, I, I think I said this time last year, you may have been in a three-party situation or something. And now you're getting what you, you wanted or what you were pushing for. Or maybe this is what the Aquarian's partner was pushing for. And you're kind of in with it. And you're like, yeah, that's best for me. <clears throat> Career and finance. Here's the inflow of abundance. A promise, promising business venture for the Aquarius. Oh my God, how can you get much more clear than that? This really looks, I know, it, there's a breakdown of the way you're living. It's all about your home. If I had to name this reading, uh, it would be all about the Aquarian home. It's changing. Who's living in your home? Who's not living in your home? Are you selling your home? Are you getting a new home? Major changes to the home for the Aquarian. Now, when I do my private reads, um, I before I actually even call the person, I look at their birth date, their name, and I get their strength. So I see the strength of who I'm working with. And then I also get their shadow side. So I need to see that as well. So I know who I'm working with. So I started to include that in my readings. Aquarius, March 15th to the 31st. What is the strength of the Aquarians during this particular time? March 15th to the 31st of 2023. What would the strength of the Aquarian be? Whew. March 15th to the 31st of 2023. What would the shadow side of the Aquarians be? Wow. Popped out real fast. Okay, the Aquarian strength is the interconnectedness. You're very charismatic. You have a purpose and you're moving forward in your purpose. It's as if you have a plan and a purpose for your life. You're charismatic. You have that interconnectedness. So in whatever field you're in or uh, business you're in, you feel this connectedness and you are connected almost as if you have this charisma. So if you're into filmmaking, law, um, po politics, some of you may be YouTubers, you're going to have this interconnectedness Aquarius that's going to make you really popular. Um, now, your shadow side. Whew. Healing energy. Your attitude of gratitude. You need to take better care of yourself, Aquarius, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. So maybe this is a time where you need to really get your heart and your mind aligned with the divine. And I feel for many of you, Aquarius, you need to be honest with yourself. Um, if somebody is lying and being deceitful and you're trying to say that, oh, it's all for the good, um, Lying deceit isn't good. No, no, it's not being, no. Uh, in fact, there is the truth, love, and light. And that's, and peace. And then there's the life of lies and deceit, shadow walking. So Aquarians, 
if you know people like that, that lie and deceit and, you know, and they're shadow walking, stay away from them because the birds of a feather, they, they flock together. You do not want to be known as one of those people. Um, Aquarius, if this resonated with you and you would uh, like to further my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Private readings, Petrella's Intuitive Insights.com. It's listed in the link below. With that, I want to say God bless you.